Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday after the big turn day on Friday. Uh, dollar turned higher, rates higher for longer seems to be the theme. This uh, helped the dollar appreciate against everything. Aussie took a little bit of a digger, uh, and I thought there would be some risk off that would continue to pressure Aussie. Um, but risk off hasn't materialized. Let's look at S&P's. Um, this has just done nothing, right? You can see big up, big down. This is the hourly, and then just right back to this uh, 41.70. Let's pull this guy up. Dailies. I mean, this high here, 42.09. It's this reminds me of the dollar yen chart. Um, and these, 140, uh, 42.50 is the equivalent of 135. Today, dollar yen looks like we're going to peak above. We've already peaked above once, but we're going to peak above this 134.05. And then you see this resistance here. This is 135.30. These highs here are 135, the figure. Um, then you have the 200 day, 137. But I feel like we're going to push up onto the 134 handle, do a little dance here, and then run out of juice. Um, and then the dollar, the dollar downside is going to come back into play. But we're going to spend, I don't know, maybe five, five trading days between 133 and 135. And then news will come out and we'll start heading lower again. But this looks like S&P's and dollar yen looks like the same same type of trade. Are right, we going to sneak above 42.09 and then dance around, have a reach high of 42.50, and then uh, bring it back in? This week doesn't look like the week for a change in trend. This is a very light week on data um, in the, as far as the U.S. is concerned. Uh, we've got some, a fair bit of Canadian shit, Canadian CPI. Um, Macklem's talking a lot. S UK CPI this week. Kiwi CPI. No real big dollar stuff. We have manufacturing PMI and services PMI. Um, on Friday, that could be that could be a mover. But in the absence of anything interesting um, on the interest rate front or really on the heavy data front, um, I think we're just going to finish the business we started on Friday. Advanced GDP is April 27th, so the next week, BOJ uh, is April. Friday the 28th. BOJ will be interesting. Maybe that'll change the dollar yen uh, trajectory. BOJ news conference Friday the 28th. Um, anyway, uh, so this is the way. This is this is how it looks to me. You know, you want to be long dollar yen. Um, you don't want to hit the bid in Aussie here at 08 or hit the bid in cable here at 10, but you want to sell high ones. But dollar yen is going to break through 134.05 at the European Open. Um, it's 5.50 in London right now. So the real action doesn't start until 7 a.m. London, maybe 6.30. The boys at Goldman typically get in a little bit earlier than the rest. So we've still got an hour, hour and nine minutes, and we're just dancing here. 96 choice. Um, at the moment, singing our little song here. We did touch uh, 11, which just sort of broke the seal. So we know that like the typical offers at the figure have already been taken out. Um, do we take a dance through 70 just to fuck with the pre, uh, pre-market longs in Asia? Maybe, but you just want to just want to be core long. So those of you, most of you won't be listening to this for another hour anyway. Um, if you can get some cheap dollar yen between 50 and 70, that's even better. But if we're sitting here fucking around, oop, 99 paid as we speak. Um, I don't think she's going anywhere, but here she is. 
this is probably going to go up to 134.50 today uh, and just will drag the dollar higher what are we watching as part of this story obviously 10 years above 350 and this trade is intact um, this thing this thing sinks below 346 uh, then the rates higher for longer it's not really in jeopardy but we would be surprised to see that let's look at gold gold got fucking shellacked we've done a horrible job trading gold I have to say um, ooh, figure paid one bid in dollar yen do we have enough longs on it's still a bit early uh, sit with what we got um, been tapping you know not great in, in gold you know we got short um, we got short after this day here at 2000 watched it trade down to 82 traded it a bit our average was sort of became 08 but then we had to stop on the move up to 47 and then we were jaded even though we knew it was stretched we didn't sell and even though we knew at 2020 after the numbers on um, look at dollar yen five paid uh, after the numbers on Friday, it was 2020. We're like, gold's not going to like this. Um, we did nothing. Uh, we did get paid on Friday. We were short Aussie. We were short cable. Um, long dollar Swiss. But gold really had a big, bad bruiser of a day. And this is going to continue lower. A um, lot of just complacent longs in gold. Um, and you might want to try and pick this thing up. Uh, maybe between 65 and 45 um, again we'll just have to see what's going on gold can resume back higher when the negative do dollar story comes back into play and, and what and that can come in many forms right it could be debt ceiling could be uh, you know general 31 trillion of debt could be political you know, Biden could go into a coma, uh, you know, or people realize he's already in a coma. I don't even know uh, what's going on with that. He seems pretty old uh, to me. Um, you know, I don't know. Like a thousand things can happen. Um, gold could also get pushed higher because of um, geopolitical stuff, right? So if Taiwan heats up, and looks like we're heading into some sort of like conflict uh, seems unlikely that but could happen uh, that will also affect gold um, but for now gold's gonna go left so we like selling high ones in gold although we don't really have anything on the books for gold Aussie I think we have some Aussie news later in the week Aussie 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 oi 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 uh, yeah, I don't see anything massive. I had a feeling we had some, um, some rate news. Yeah, monetary policy, uh, actually Tuesday, 3.30 a.m. So we got, we got monetary policy stuff in Aussie, um, the minutes. And so we'll see if they're dovish. If they are dovish, this thing could continue to take a digger. Uh, but again, we're not going to chase this. Uh, Aussie could easily also, also bounce back up to 60, which is our sell point. So we're just being patient. Let's go to Dollar Swiss. God, the market's so fucking long, this. Um, and it's long for the right reasons, right? Dollar Swiss should be at 95 centimes. It's at 89.40. Um, we're core long now. Uh, we were fishing down at that 8870 level and then we were just trading from the long side once we got through 03 8903 if this gets back on the 88 handle then it's uh, you have to question what the fuck's going on but we like the slow burn quiet sort of mystery burn higher in dollar swiss and euro swiss um, for the next 10 days but to be fair, there's other horses that will pay quicker, like we talked about on Friday. Short cable paid, bang. I was like 80 pips, boom. Duh, you know, Aussie dropped 90 pips, boom. Dollar Swiss, like, it's like a 
drunk guy in a wheelchair, like rolling himself down a dock, real slow and steady. You know, went 40 pips, right? <laughs> so boring. But anyway, Dollar Swiss should turn um, with this dynamic in play. One of the reasons we don't like selling euros here is just because euro, there's a lot of push and pull in euro, right? Uh, and it's, you know, the rate uh, scenario in Europe looks pretty robust. Looks like, you know, ECB is definitely also going to raise. Um, and if we do fall, oop, 12 paid dollar yen. Not long enough. Um, so we're just avoiding Euro. If Cable's a better horse than Euro, uh, left-hand side. Aussie's also probably a better horse. What else we got? Let's talk about Swiss Yen, uh, which is now approaching 150. This is now the 10th up day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eighth up day. I have no idea why this is doing what it's doing, but it is doing what it's doing. The stretch today. Is 150.44. Um, it's just stunning. The all-time high is is 151.46. That was the BOJ uh, intervention, 22 September 2022. Um, I think dollar yen was at 150 at the time. So like dollar yen at 134.07. It just seems odd that that Swiss yen is approaching the all-time highs. Um, keeping an eye on this. We've been burned on this trade pretty badly, so, you know, fading it, trying to get a good average, being unsuccessful. Uh, so now we're just sort of watching that. What else? Uh, not much else. It's going to be a super quiet morning. There's absolutely no data uh, in Europe this morning. We do have um, Empire State Manufacturing at 2.30 today. Uh, I guess people are concerned about that. I don't really give a shit. Lagarde is speaking at 5 p.m. What the fuck could she say? She's just, she's just going to say inflation is still a problem. Um, anyway, we've said enough. Um, long dollar yen today, just sort of playing into this uh, 134.50 target. And... See how that goes. If we get a chance to sell cable high ones, we will. And if we get a chance to sell Aussie high ones, we will. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.